So we're in the second half. Oh, good shot. Great run. Hamza Shiraz is among the top 10 boxers in the 160 pound division. With a record of 19 fights and no losses in his career, this boxer could potentially be the next challenger for Janabek Alimkanuli, the holder of the WBO and IBF titles. In this context, we thought it appropriate to take a closer look at Shiraz's career. Mohammed Hamza Shiraz was born on May 25, 1999 in Ilford, United Kingdom. The Shiraz family originally migrated from Pakistan to England and were Muslims. Accordingly, Hamza also identifies himself as a Muslim. Shiraz was brought to a boxing gym by his brother when he was eight years old. From the age of 12, he began to stand out among his peers. Despite being a multiple-time British champion among adolescents, Shiraz couldn't become the number one boxer in the national team. Not wanting to waste his time, Shiraz decided to turn professional as soon as he turned 18. In 2017, he signed a contract with British promoter Frank Warren and had his first professional fight in the autumn of that year. In the span of 1.5 years, having fought and won nine bouts, he competed for the WBO European Champion title in the 154-pound category by the end of 2019. Standing at 191 centimeters, Shiraz towers over almost any opponent in the middleweight division. In this instance as well, his opponent, Ryan Kelly, appears significantly smaller by comparison. As soon as the fight begins, Kelly starts attacking aggressively. However, the always composed Shiraz counters his opponent with precise retaliatory strikes, effectively turning the tide. That's good. That's good. Long straight. Thus, in the steady progression of the fight during the sixth round, Shiraz catches his opponent with a classic counterpunch. So we're in the second half. Oh, good shot. Kelly manages to get up and continue the fight, but Shiraz does not let him off easily. He's got some guts, the Birmingham lad. Big punches again, and he goes down, it's all over. Subsequently, in the summer of 2020, Shiraz defends his title against his fellow undefeated countryman, Paul Keane. After knocking down his opponent in the first round, Shiraz continues to dominate, forcing Keane to retire after the sixth round. Quick finish here. Shiraz is going to go looking for him. Shiraz undefeated. Few They're pulling him out. Fair They're pulling him out. Dad. Fair play to him. Several months later, Shiraz faces Guido Nicholas Pitto in a fight. Although Pitto is much shorter than Shiraz, their reach appears to be similar. Moreover, Pitto is a resilient boxer who is good at landing punches. Died, Richard. Left hooks to the body. Grimaced in pain there, did Pitto. Nevertheless, Shiraz dramatically increases the intensity in the final 10th round, forcing the referee to stop the fight. Follows the attack on again, takes him to the corner, and the referee jumps In the right. summer of 2021, Shiraz fights against the Spaniard Ezequiel Guria. From the first minute, Shiraz takes control of the center of the ring and begins to land a series of punches. Initially, the Spanish boxer tries to evade and escape. Quiet opening round, just taking a look at Guria. However, Shiraz, with his long reach, keeps catching up no matter where the opponent tries to escape. In the fifth round, he lands several punches to the body. Just waiting his money. There you go. Oh, that's lovely. Following his coach's signal to get up, the Spanish fighter rises, but Shiraz does not let him off. Too much left here. Just needs to be selective to find the right shot. He's ready to go. Referee looks. He goes At the end of 2021, Shiraz faces the experienced British boxer, Bradley Skeet. In the heat of the eighth round, Shiraz gets carried away and lands three excessive punches to the head of his opponent, who is down on his knees. Normally, such actions would result in the disqualification of a boxer. However, in Shiraz's case, fortunately, the referee only deducts a point from him. As soon as the referee signals, Shiraz quickly moves in and knocks down his opponent again. Of pace now from Shiraz. Oh, good shot from shot. Bradley Skeet over. Not giving his opponent a single second to recover after getting up, Hamza ultimately achieves his goal. Head cleared between rounds. Hamza Shiraz 
He's hit by two or three really firm shots in there. And he's, in, he's in trouble, he's not recovered, and he's putting the shots together. He's taking a few risks himself, but it's... Well, he's up at eight, they've stopped. As he gets older and his weight naturally increases, Shiraz decides to move up to the 160-pound division following this fight. Shiraz has his first fight in the 160-pound division in the spring of 2022 against his compatriot Jez Smith. Smith, who starts the fight at a high pace, soon gets caught by a powerful counterpunch and falls to the ground. In the second round, after receiving another blow near the ear, Smith completely stops resisting. Look and how well he can perform, and he's perform Several months later, Shiraz fights the Argentine Francisco Emmanuel Torres for the WBC silver middleweight title. This was his first encounter with boxers from outside Europe. From the beginning, Shiraz's dominance was unquestionable. Even Torres falls to a knockdown after being hit by the British fighter's jab. Like However, losing his vigilance, Shiraz soon gets caught with a counterpunch and finds himself knocked down in turn. Nevertheless, Hamza quickly gets up and immediately retaliates. In the fifth round, after the Argentine suffers another heavy knockdown, the sympathetic referee decides to stop the fight. He timed that brilliantly, and that's it. Mark Lyson stops it. C silver middleweight champion, Hamza Shiraz. Thus, having won the WBC silver title, Shiraz soon defends it by stopping the British River Wilson Bent in the second round. At the end of 2023, he was scheduled to face the undefeated Ukrainian Mitro Mitrofanov. Mitrofanov, well known in the amateur ranks, is knocked down four times by Shiraz within two rounds. Oh, what a lovely punch that was! Absolutely deep, and Shiraz in there is completely dominant. Oh, what a jab! What a superb punch that one was! Just a straight left hand. Basic jab. Oh, he's all over the place here, Fletch. Yes, indeed. The legs have betrayed him, and the referee's had a look, but he hasn't stopped it at this point. You're punching again from Shiraz. I think you'll do well to get through this round. Oh, oh what a punch. He goes. What a shot. Hamza Shiraz had his most recent fight on February 10th this year, facing Liam Williams. As is typical for him, Shiraz knocks down his opponent in the first round with a sharp jab. After getting up, Williams gets caught by a counterpunch and falls again. Realizing the futility of continuing, Williams's team decides to withdraw from the match. So friends, that's the current state of Hamza Shiraz's professional boxing career. At just about to turn 25 years old, this boxer's future still lies ahead. What do you think? Can Shiraz defeat Janabek? Please share your thoughts in the comments. If you like the video, be sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel.